Hey followers, here's a quick video on my latest Arcade 1UP uh, progress. As you can see, I have an HDMI controller board here now. And one thing I wanted to show to people here is I, I was following ETA Prime's uh, guide on setting up your Raspberry Pi. Now, he recommends getting uh, an amplifier. I'm sure you'll get better sound from it, but if you're just reusing the stock speaker, don't bother buying an amplifier because take a look at this connector here that has the output for the uh, for the sound now it's I've set it to mono only because there's only one speaker inside and the pinout is a uh, left channel ground ground and right channel so when you set that up just wire it up and I've actually put the banana plugs on the ends where the controller deck would be and there's also a USB port for my USB encoders. Now let's take a look at setting this up in Windows just so that uh, we can easily get it set up properly. Just because uh, out of the box it actually doesn't work properly because there's only one speaker. So I'll show you one thing to do here. Okay, so one thing you'll need to do is go to your settings And it should be under ease of access. Here they go. And then go to the sound area and turn on mono audio. That way you only get the one speaker. So once you're done doing that, you should get audio everywhere. So let's just as a demonstration here, here's a here's some music just to show you how good the speaker actually sounds. See? Sounds pretty good. Not bad. I mean, you don't need that cheap $10 amp. You're probably going to get almost the same performance with it. And one thing too, by setting it to mono audio, when you play Street Fighter, when you do the Hadouken on the left side or the right side, you'll hear it from both sides when you're playing the street, Super Street Fighter versions. Now, just as uh, some bonus footage here, I'll show you. This is probably the first time someone has ever posted this. But here's Tekken 7 running on the machine. This is pretty much why I built it. Sorry for the reflection here. See? Now you pretty much have an arcade cabinet already. Connect. This has a computer connected to it, not a Raspberry Pi. So you can play this online. So you're not never going to stop you're never going to get sick of this if you're a big fan of fighting games. So, just to show how it looks here. I'm going to play one-handed. Obviously, it's going to be terrible, so I'll play offline. Oh, I mapped it out here as a left punch, right punch, left kick, right kick. Because it's this, these buttons are too close. Tekken only uses four, so... Here. Obviously, it's going to be bad. I'm just going to show you how the gameplay looks. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. Lily, get ready for the next battle. battle, battle. Now, just warn you, I'm using one hand. This is going to be awful. Oh god, it's a promotion match too. Hi! Ducky! Good idea! Round one. Hey, it looks pretty good. Pretty good, right? Round two. 
fight. Uh, exit out of the game now. One more thing I'm going to show you with Tekken. And this is totally preference. This is ETA Prime's already mentioned this. But if you go to graphic options, and go to graphic settings here, I'll lower the volume a bit because it's a little loud. I don't want to. I don't want to copy Strike or anything. But yeah, here you go. See, 1280 by 800. That's what I have it set up, so you'll get minimal bars at the top and bottom, but you can set this thing all the way to 1080. The, res the display is smart enough to scale it down. You'll just get a full screen, but it will be very, very scrunch. This is kind of a good in-between where you get some bars, but not enough bars so that you actually notice too much. But yeah. If you have anything else you want to ask, just uh, like and subscribe and make a comment on this video. I hope this saves someone some time and money so you don't have to buy that amplifier. Oh, and this connector here, the one I'm showing you, that one there actually came with the LCD board. I just cut off the other ends. So you don't even have to buy this part either, like this, this four pin connector. You don't have to buy anything. You just connect that straight to your speaker that's marked positive and negative. If you have any other questions, have a great day. Leave a comment on the video, okay?